everyone, welcome to my channel, and most importantly, happy Halloween! I'm Kayliptic, and as you can see from the title of the video, the only correct movie to watch on Halloween day is Halloween. Yeah. Thank you so much for clicking on today's video and joining me today. I'm really excited to be finally watching this. I actually do not know much about Michael Myers and his origin story. So this is gonna be a good one. And I have been wanting to watch more of John Carpenter's films. The only one I've watched so far is The Thing. I absolutely love that movie so much. The way that it's written, directed, the casting, the effects in that movie, it really sat with me and it was so disturbing in the best way possible. I do have my very special special Michael Myers mug. <laughs> I just got this recently because I was at the Halloween store and I was like, oh my God, wait, I actually love this mug. And in the back, it says, have a knife day. You can't see it, but there is a knife inside of the mug at the very bottom. I really like it. So I will have this with me to pair with the movie today. And before we get started, make sure to leave a like and subscribe, grab your drinks, grab your snacks, get all cozy. And without further ado, we're just gonna go ahead and get started. Yeah, we start with the theme song already. The music is also by John Carpenter. I didn't know that. Oh, hello. Right in front of the door, guys. Thank you. You better walk away. There's trick-or-treaters out here tonight. Control yourself. <laughs> Michael's around someplace. <laughs> Let's go upstairs. Okay. Mm. I really hate how this whole beginning sequence so far is in first person. When horror movies do that, it always gets me. What? Yeah, sure. Oh, oh, oh. You don't you didn't see the person that is right there? I guess the other room is dark. Oh, it's the tension buildup? No! Not when she's naked. Come on. <gasps> oh! Oh! Okay. I'm guessing this is him when he's younger. Michael? For sure. Oh my gosh okay i know it was just a stylistic choice for the shot but if i were those parents i would be i would be freaking out a little bit more than just standing there staring at my son okay i would be going upstairs and it'd be like oh my god what is happening why does he have a bloody knife you ever done anything like this before only minimum security the driveway is a few hundred yards up on the right illinois state hospital what do i give him when we take him in front of the judge sorry zine you're serious about it aren't you yeah it's too dark and we keep looking outside. I feel like they're gonna run into something. I'm scared. <gasps> Is that not? Oh? Um? Since when did they let them wander around? Oh, that's multiple people. Yeah. Pull up to the main gate. Shouldn't we put- Go on, move. <gasps> what? <laughs> no. Lock your doors. No, don't roll your window down. Why would you do that? <laughs> Oh my gosh, girl. Mm, that's a strong hand. Oh! No, that is so unfortunate. You're all right. Yes, I'm okay. He's gone. He's gone from here. I'm kind of glad that she's okay because for a second, I thought she was going to get dragged out of that car and she was going to die. For real. Good news. Well, I mean, not good news because now it means that more people are just going to die, but... It's Jamie! I love her so much. Don't forget to drop the key off at the Myers place. Be sure to leave it under the mat. Promise! Coming over tonight? Same time, same place. Can we make jack-o'-lanterns? Sure. Can we make popcorn? Sure, sure, sure. Aww. That was so sweet. The Myers house. Ooh. You're not supposed to go up there. Just watch. Okay, it's fine. No, I knew it. I was like, I hear breathing. That's a haunted house. Awful stuff happened there once. Listen to the kid. He knows what's up. All alone. Just what? The two of us. Oh my gosh. Out on the sidewalk. <laughs> that, that 
That went on for too long. No. Haddonfield is 150 miles away from here. Now, now, for God's sakes, he can't drive a car. He was doing very well last night. Oh, and he did, in fact, drive all the way over there. So do not doubt that man. What Samuels is really talking about here is fate. No matter what course of action Collins took, he was destined to his own fate. If my teacher sounded like that, I'd be so dead asleep. <gasps> oh, no. Wait. Is he still there? Okay. Answer the question. Oh, um, Costain wrote that fate was somehow related only to religion, whereas Samuels felt that, well, fate was like a natural element. Wow, props to her for actually listening? What? Writing fate is immovable, like a mountain. If I saw someone looking and staring at me like that, I would not have caught any of that lesson. <laughs> what? That's a huge pumpkin. The boogeyman is coming. The boogeyman. The boogeyman. The boogeyman. Uh, there's <laughs> no! And his pumpkin broke! That was for his jack o' lantern! Wait. Oh my god. How is he just on the school grounds right now? I do not like how that boy is in danger. Okay. Mm -mm. You've got to believe me, officer. He is coming to Haddonfield. I was just about to say. Can't they call the Haddonfield authorities? You must be ready for him. If you don't, it's your funeral. Yikes. Is that more gowns? Mmm. Oh! That's so wild. He was just there. He missed the body. We have three new cheers to learn in the morning. The game is in the afternoon. I have to get my hair done at five, and the dance is at eight. Oh, uh, the struggle is real. Why didn't you wait for me? We did. Fifteen minutes. Paul dragged me into the boys' locker room. Exploring Count. uncharted territory. It's been totally charted. I'm just <laughs> Sure. I forgot my chemistry book. So oh. who cares? I always forget my chemistry book and my math book and my English book. <laughs> All of the books. Isn't that Devon Graham? I think he's cute. That is not who you think it is. Hey, jerk! Speed kills! Oh, is he gonna reverse it? Please don't. <sighs> I thought he was gonna reverse it. You know, Annie, someday you're gonna get us all into deep trouble. I think she just did. See ya. Bye. Bye. What the heck? Say something. Behind the bush. Hey. The guy who drove by so fast that when you yelled at. Oh, she's bold. Oh, she's so bold. Hey, creep. Lori, dear. Wants to take you out tonight. Oh, I have a feeling that this friend is gonna die first. Who's standing right there? Scared another one away. See you later. He's... Uh, uh, okay. Excuse me, Lori. Oh, Mr. Brackett, I'm sorry, Mr. Brackett. Oh, I didn't mean Ooh. to startle you. That was so awkward. Oh, no, maybe this cop is going to be the first one to die. Michael is definitely in that house. Ooh, and the windows are open? Oh, no. Close that window and lock it. The number? No. Why'd you hang up on me? Why didn't you say anything? You scared Gosh. me to death. I had my mouth full. Couldn't you hear me? Listen, my mother's letting me use her car. I'll pick you up. 6.30. I thought that was chewing, but then I was like, is it just crackling from the phone line? I don't... Why would her friend just do that? Just say hello. Like a normal person. Hurry up. That's a nice car. Row 18, plot 20. Yeah, Myers, Judith Myers. I remember her. Couldn't believe it. Such a young boy. Why do they do it? What? Goddamn kids. It's Judith. I saw somebody standing in Mr. Riddle's backyard. He's watching me. Mr. Riddle was watching you? Lori, Mr. Riddle is 87. And he's behind you guys. What's the pumpkin for? I brought it for Tommy. I figured carving a jack-o'-lantern would keep him occupied. Oh, he's like up their ass. I plan on making popcorn and watching Dr. Dementia. <coughs> <laughs> <laughs> Too much of a hit. My dad! Get rid of this! Oh. He's gonna smell it. Hi, Dad. What happened? Somebody broke into the hardware store, probably kids. All they took was some Halloween mask, a rope, and a couple of knives. It's hard growing up with a cynical father. Aren't you gonna be late? Huh? I said, aren't you gonna be late? He shouts, too. 
<laughs> Leave him alone. Dr. Sam Loomis. Well, maybe a few minutes. Oh my god, and he's back there driving. Look right behind you. He has the car. Oh. It's not funny, but it's just kind of like, ha ha, not ha ha funny, but ha ha. Oh my God, dude, because that's like two things he just missed. One dead body earlier, out of the car. It's okay though, because then it would be too easy. You could ask Dick Baxter, he'd go out with you. <laughs> I'd rather go out with Ben Tramer. Ben Tramer? So you do think about things like that, huh, Lori? Shut up. He's cute. Oh, they are such opposites. <laughs> I'm surprised they haven't noticed that this car has been following them. I know they're not paying attention and they were smoking and stuff, but he's like not giving any distance between them either. Hi. Hi, Annie. Come on in. What are you doing today? Uh, I'm just going to go to the store. Okay. Yeah. Okay. It's just so creepy. I really like how a lot of the scenes like that are not cut in any way. Like, it's just a direct shot of him watching whoever. And it's like, the longer it gets, the more disturbing it is. Does anybody live here? No, not since 1963 when it happened. What is that? It's a dog. It's still warm. He got hungry. Wait, did he say it was a dog? Did I hear that correctly? He ate a dog? He could have seen us through this window. Standing on the lawn, he could have seen inside. Oh, jeez. <sighs> what? You must think me a very sinister doctor. Okay, no, thank God you're armed. I was just about to say, are you not worried that he is in this house? I met this six-year-old child with this pale, emotionless face. The devil's eyes. He's been here once tonight. I think he'll come back. Yeah. I'm gonna wait for him. No. Just tell your men to keep their mouth shut and their eyes open. I don't know, something's telling me in my gut that this is a terrible idea, but you've met him, so I don't know. I don't like that story. I thought King Arthur was your favorite. Not anymore. Laser man, neutron man, I can understand why. <laughs> Tarantula man. All the mans. What's the boogeyman? Uh... Hi, Annie, what are you doing? Having fun. Oh, I hope she doesn't die on the phone. <laughs> Not the dog either. I just talked with Ben Tramer and he got real excited when I told him how attracted you were to him. Her best friend's playing a wingman. I like it. No, no, no. Lori, the boogeyman's outside. Look. Damn it. I was hoping he'd be there. I don't- ah, is he gonna pop up right in front of the window? There's been like no like crazy jump scares yet, so I know that when it comes, it's really gonna get me really badly. Shit! I just made a mess of myself. I gotta call you back. Oh, yuck! I need a rope! Oh, and of course, it's gonna be when she's topless too. Actually, no, she's just completely undressing. Okay, don't murder her now, please. That's just gonna be annoying and awful. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> no, you're gonna lure her outside. Yeah. Ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> Shit, no. That dog's dead. Why is it always the dogs? At least it was dark. I honestly couldn't really tell what just happened, but I know the dog's dead and that's just... Joy. <laughs> <laughs> of course they have the thing. What about the boogeyman? There was nobody outside. There was. What do you look like? The boogeyman. Oh. <laughs> While I'm here tonight, I'm not about to let anything happen to you. Oh. <sighs> He's gonna get in this house and she's gonna have to try and protect that kid. Oh my god, please close the door. I mean, not like closing the door would do anything, but... <sighs> Oh, just kidding. It was closed for you. How kind. Who's there? Paul, is this one of no. your cheap trips? No. Close it. I'm like holding my breath. <laughs> uh. Lindsay, come out here. Girl, Lindsay has not been listening to you for the past like 30 minutes, okay? Hi, Lindsay. This is Paul. Is Annie there? She's washing her clothes. Look, just tell her it's me, okay? Oh my god, I know the kid is in there. Stop. Oh my foot, I'm stuck. Promise me you won't tell anybody about this. She got stuck in the window. She'll be right here. <laughs> They're are so bad about closing the doors and locking them. All right, cut it out. It can happen to anyone. I've seen you stuck in plenty of other positions. Yeah. My parents are gone. <laughs> 
Come on, get your coat. We're going to pick up Pa. I don't want to. Oh, if I can fix it so you can watch TV with Tommy Doyle, would you like that? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, please get out of there. But now I feel like when they come back, he's just going to be in the house anyway. Or he's probably already in there. Hi, Tommy. Hi. Come on in. Oh, fancy. This has not been my night. I'm on my way to pick up Paul. Wait a minute. If you watch her, I'll consider talking to Ben Tramer in the morning. Consider? Girl, you better do it if she's not happy about it. <laughs> that scared me so bad. <sighs> oh my god. There you go. Keep honking the horn. No. That sucks. And nobody heard the freaking car horns. Well, I guess like in a normal situation, you hear car horns and stuff. It probably wouldn't be too alarming at first, unless if you keep hearing it. So that's the sad part. <laughs> What? And he's just gonna carry her? No! Oh my gosh. I'm not afraid. Bull. Are those the boys from earlier? Hey, Lonnie. Get your ass away from there. <laughs> okay, good. He said, get your ass away from there. And he looks so proud of himself. <laughs> oh! Okay. It's just a cop. I have the feeling that you're way off on this. Doctor, do you know what Haddonfield is? Families children all lined up in rows up and down these streets you're telling me they're lined up for a slaughterhouse yes and that's why you should be worried because it is all families first we go inside annie will distract Lindsay. that's when we go upstairs to the first bedroom on the left hey annie hey, let's look for a note let's don't oh no he's gonna be right there oh my gosh hi Lori. what's up is annie around oh, i thought she'd be home by now she went to pick up Paul. Lindsay is gone for the night. Uh, she's gone forever. But you're gonna find that out in a little bit. Oh, and there he is! Love that. Go get me a beer. I thought you were gonna get me one. Yeah. Oh no, now they're gonna be split up? <laughs> I mean, either way it was gonna go down, but... They are way too comfortable just walking in the dark. Annie? No. All. Just go. Come on out. <laughs> oh my god, I'm lifting him up. I can't. <sighs> Did he just stick him to the wall or the doors or whatever? Yeah, he really did. He really did, and he's just staring at him and tilting his head. Well, did you get my beer? <laughs> Cute, Bob. Real cute. What's the matter? Can I get your ghost, Bob? Well, can't you answer me? Well, I'm gonna call Lori. This is going nowhere. Oh, here we go. This is what I was worried about. Someone dying while on the phone? I think it's about to happen. Hello? <gasps> oh! Uh, 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 uh. Annie? Oh, wait. Dang, I didn't even think about her going to the house. Okay. Oh my gosh, it's just gonna be completely dark throughout the rest of the movie, isn't it? There are some scenes like this one right here, you, you cannot see. What? That is so disturbing. Oh my god. <gasps> that is fucking horrible. Girl, he's gonna appear right there. It is way too dark. I see him. I see him. Oh my god. What? She fell onto these stairs? I would hurt so bad. Stop. Oh my god, run! <sighs> I was too close. Hello! Hello! Oh, man, please help me! Can you hear me? Oh, what? Are you kidding? Uh, once all of this is over, I'd be knocking on that door. Oh, and I'd be giving them so much sh I really would be.
Oh my gosh, shut up with the boogeyman, just freaking... Mm. Dang, he's quick with the power, huh? Oh, because of the window. Oh god, girl, turn around, turn around! Did you just throw- you really just fell from that? Well, it was to the neck, so I mean... There you go, she grabbed his knife! Yes! Okay, but like, get away from the couch though, because you could get up again, you know? I'm gonna take a little walk. The boogeyman. There's nothing to be scared of. Are you sure? There should be because you left the yeah. freaking knife there and he's up Get again. Ah! Get in there, come on, Tommy. Now lock the door. Like, are you kidding? And now you're just gonna hide in the closet. He's gonna know you're in there. <laughs> mm, I knew it. That's so terrifying. Yep, she's gonna have to use a freaking hanger as a weapon now. <laughs> Grab the knife. Grab the knife and do not leave it anywhere ever again. Do it again. I would have stabbed him like more than that uh, just to make sure that he's down down. I don't know if that's like a maniac thing of me to say. I don't think one puncture wound is really gonna do it though. That's all I'm saying. Why do you keep drop- I get it if she doesn't want to like hold it, but stop dropping him right next to him. I want you to go down the street to the Mackenzie's house. I want you to tell them to call the police and tell them to send him over here. Oh, now, do you up. understand me? Yes. Go do as I say. She's really good with the kids though. Yeah, get him out of there for sure. Um, but also get yourself out right now. <laughs> I feel like this man is gonna be the hero. I hate it. No, she's walking so slow. <laughs> oh, there you go. Took the mask off. Whoa. Whoa. There you go. See? I had a feeling he was going to be the hero. What's the boogeyman? As a matter of fact, it was. As a matter of fact, it was. I like that response. Oh my god, and he's gone? Ooh, is that his breathing? That's his breathing. Guys, he was stabbed once in the neck. Wait, was he stabbed once or twice with his actual knife? I can't remember. And then he was shot like five or six times or something and fell all the way from the house. And then he got up and left totally fine, really quickly. I mean, I'm kind of had a feeling he was definitely invincible. I mean, come on, there's like, what, six movies out? <laughs> there's a lot of good things about this movie though. And one of them that really stuck with me is the camera movement. First of all, a lot of the shots where it's first person always really gets me and it's really scary. And there's a lot of camera movements where it was behind characters and it was kind of like walking along with them or like the way that the camera moves and like turns in certain shots like especially when people are in rooms and walking around corners oh it's like the walking around the corners part is what really gets me because i always feel like something is going to be there or something's going to pop up and the other thing that i really liked was the soundtrack because i don't know how to say this without it sounding stupid obviously the movie is called halloween and it takes place on halloween the music in this movie wasn't just scary it had halloween vibes if that makes sense with like the instruments that were used it really put me in the mood for Halloween. Also, the pacing in this movie I thought was perfect because there were jump scares in this movie. Any movie that has jump scares is gonna get me every time because I'm just super jumpy. This one was better though because there weren't many of them, but they were also like spaced apart. It wasn't jump scare after jump scare after jump scare. It's moments where you think nothing is really gonna happen, but it does. I mean, some of the jump scares were a little predictable because okay, well, it's been quiet and we've been in this house for a while, like it's gonna come up, but it wasn't in the spots that I expected it to come up in. 
the end of the day, uh, this movie is also kind of just sad. Lori lost her friends and she was the one that was with the kids and she did a great job getting them out of there. Although I really wish that she would have went with them and just gotten out of that house. I know like throughout this whole movie, I was like, oh my God, like, why would you do that? Why would you do this? And I feel like that's such a natural reaction when you're watching slasher movies. But then you got to kind of think about being in this situation and how when you're in such extreme panic and you're scared out of your mind you're probably not going to make the best decisions okay because you're thinking about so many things at once and what might happen and what could happen you have to have different conflicts that like keep coming up coming up coming up or else the movie is not going to be long or the movie's just there's no point of having the movie in general overall i loved this movie it stressed me out it really stressed me out it's so hard to watch someone go through something so scary but all you can do is watch <laughs> like i'm watching it unfold and i'm like i don't know how this is gonna turn out who's gonna die it was good i'm not disappointed back to the topic of like kind of like the cinematography or uh, the, the type of shots that were taken. The one scene that comes to mind that really irked me was in the beginning of the movie when Lori's walking down the sidewalk and she's just singing to herself. The first time Michael sees her and he just walks out of the Myers house, is standing on the sidewalk and we don't even see him fully in frame. It's just kind of like his shoulder. The shot is so simple and not much is happening, but that's what brings it out more because of that one thing that we focus on, his breathing. And then when we revisit it at the end of the movie, he's gone and then the music kind of picks up again and we get like different shots of the house his breathing just gets louder and louder and louder and louder no thank you how about you just uh that's pretty much all I have to say though. Soundtrack was really good and very fitting. Shots were amazing. Story is really good. I had no idea this all began when he was super young. He was only six years old. But thank you all so much for joining me today. I hope you also had a blast watching this with me. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. And hit that post notification bell to stay up to date to all of the reactions. And as always, I really hope to see you in the next video.